Hey, Nation Nation, back. It's the first of the year, first chance to talk to Fellow Moreau. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm back in the land of the living. I think uh, it's it's been an interesting Christmas New Year period for everybody. How are you doing? Good, good. Yeah, just hanging in there, keeping it as safe as I can. Uh, let's talk about that. You you have some reflections on kind of where we've been and where we're headed with uh, the the world of work. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and there's, there's a pessimistic way you can look at it or an optimistic way. Um, obviously, every uh, person and their dog has corona right now, right? Everybody, absolutely everybody. And that means a, a lot of people are restricted to their home and they'll say, oh, no, not again, homeworking again. But if your business is set up uh, with a great MSP, then this should not be a massive deal to you. And moreover, there will be a lot of people who are, you know, with COVID, but feel absolutely fine. And of course, there will be some terrible uh, instances as well, but, you know, heart goes out to them. But there will be a lot of people who are just ready to work remotely, um, which I I think will be testament to how strong or not our culture of hybrid work uh, is. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know what you think, but I mean, there are some companies pushing to get people back into the office and Personally, I feel that is um, for a very separate reason. It's 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 a sort of a, a presenteeism. Um, but 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 I wonder how how strong you think hybrid work uh, has uh, become over the last two years. Oh, I I think it's here to stay. I mean, um, everybody I speak with um, now. Remember, I'm I'm in a certain segment of the world of work, right? Um, tech and and so on, but everybody loves it. Okay. And and the tech workers tend to have that flexibility. Now, some other startups have been involved where you might have a retail storefront. Well, of course, you you have to go to work, right? The, the, in, in, in another couple of friends in healthcare, uh, vascular surgeon, well, she she has to go to work, right? That's that's how it works. Um, but I think it's not only here to stay, but What's interesting, what I was going to add to your conversation about kind of what, what we're seeing is also the, the world of events. Um, so we're, uh, we, we're participating in a fairly well-known event called IT Expo, a super show from TMC Publishing. And we just pushed from February 8th through 11 to June 22nd through 24. So we just pushed basically five months. Uh, it was to be located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which is in a major surge. And, you know, the decision had to be made a month out, right? February 8th is, is creeping up on us. We had to make make the call. Uh, so sponsors and speakers and attendees could adjust. I think it's the right decision in the surge. Uh, and, you know, it's just, it's my hands are up in the air, literally, about the event model. I know of a major distributor that uh, postponed or canceled four events in the first half of the year. So, you know, uh, you're in, a, in fact, you're an event guy. Any, any thoughts on that? That's what you do. You produce events. Well, <laughs> well it, 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 I, I guess it's about risk appetite. And a lot of people got really burnt in 2020. There were lots of venues that got burnt who then in turn burnt other people. And, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to, I mean, an expo? What, what's that? Like up to half a million dollars renting out an expo maybe yeah. i don't know do you want to risk that um only for new uh, you know mandates to come in and and conversely if you've got a giant expo and nobody comes you well you're either toast or you've got to refund everybody or both um so so i so i can see why the expos are doing it conferences i feel can be a little bit more nimble um if it's a sector that's very reclusive anyway Okay, I get why you might not do that, but I'm running one for the physical security sector, and that community is very face to face, very much up for meeting, and I mean their entire job revolves around meeting. Um, so, so, so I am running an in-person event on the 27th of January, um, according to all government guidelines and, and 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 so on. But, but, but it's about risk appetite, and if you push it out, then you've you've made another risk calculation that you haven't toasted your 2023 event because then your 2022 event will be too close. Maybe you have to move the other one. Then what about your vendors and their, um, their, their marketing cycle? So it's not an easy decision. And I don't know. It's, uh, yeah. it's tough. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's uh, I think, 
uh, it wasn't lost on myself or my publishing partner, TMC. Um, the results from CES were underwhelming. I'm sure you tracked it, you know, that it was a quarter of the audience and that might be generous. Any thoughts on on what you heard about CES? Yes, yeah, CES. Um, I heard a lot of great things about the online format, that it was actually a lot more engaging than other events. And I know some of my colleagues who spoke virtually, I think that was a success story. Um, but I think it's a little bit, almost unkind to dwell on numbers being down in that because the event happened, it can happen again, you know, but even the big mighty CES, if they had canceled it, it might've got toasted. So, um, and then there's, you know, the, the, the other question of, you know, buyers uh, and suppliers walking around. I, I, obviously, I've got to be sensitive to to the hard work that they've put in, but I feel that the online version was a success story. Yeah, good. No, that's the first I've heard of it because the popular media, and I only know what I read. I I, I read some of the trade journals, but the popular media didn't cover the online event, right? And to 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 be very honest, they were more focused on these empty photos. Uh, that in it is you know photos um exaggerate both good and bad you, you you can make an event look really crowded if you do a two-hand wave and you can't count noses um you can make an event look empty if if it's a coffee if if, if uh you know they're on break <laughs> yeah if, if if a photographer has a a bone to pick with you or has an axe to grind wow they can they can make it look like Billy Nomads. They they could take a picture on the last minute of the last day of the smallest track, um, but I feel it's it's good that it happened. It's nice that at least those who wanted to go could go. But you know, people will start saying, "Is it right that I drop fifty to a hundred grand um, on a massive stand?" When. My, what are my objectives? Are my objectives to move all my stuff for a fun five-day party time to uh, to Las Vegas or to somewhere else? Is that what I'm going for? Or is my objective to freak out my competitor with my largesse? Okay, could be. Or am I truly dedicated to winning new business now? Then, then, then I get it, right? But but people 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 exhibit at these things for a much larger uh, reason. I remember 2018 at uh, RSA, for example, there was yeah. one stand. They'd spent a lot of money on their stand, but it was blank except for a cardboard cutout of someone saying, I fooled you. I'm not here. I thought, okay, cool. But, you know, we have to start dividing events that are out there for lead generation and business development and events that are out there for some other type of yeah, branding, reason. like a Super Bowl ad, a branding exercise. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll end on this. Uh, so uh, are you going to be, if you're allowed, will you be at RSA and I believe Orlando this spring? Is is that on your radar? Maybe, maybe not. Depends. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 see, even me, even me, and I'm not afraid to go to events. I've got all my nice PPA equipment, but uh, I don't know. I, 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 I would like to go, but part of me, part of me wonders if I can get a lot out of it virtually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, my man. Well, we'll talk to you next time. Thank you for your time. All See you soon.